still on this looming national strike, as you heard from Mr. Maluleke. There's still some steps uh, to be taken. Let's just get some analysis quickly from labor law specialist Mahate Pala from Mahate Pala and Associates. Uh, Mr. Pala, you heard there a little bit of what uh, the General Secretary of SATU, one of the biggest trade unions affiliated to COSATU, Mr. Mugwela Maluleke, said they are still waiting for a revised offer to come from government. Meanwhile, we've seen a statement earlier from Senzo Mkunu, the Minister of Public Service and Administration, saying now he's asking the public, professional bodies and all other societal organizations to assist with innovative solutions to resolve this labor dispute. Mr. Malulega is not impressed. Yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, Dan, and uh, thank you for having me. Um, look, I, I think I must uh, just say at the outset that, um, you know, it is actually undesirable uh, that, you know, to have the situation that we have at the, you know, uh, uh, you know, Pakani structure, you know, uh, you know, between the, uh, you know, government as the employer and the, you know, public sector unions, uh, the organ members of organized labor. Uh, it is uh, undesirable that, you know, we have, uh, you know, this sense that, you know, the, you know, this strike action may actually follow at the later stage, you know, if all fails. Uh, and then I don't think uh, this is the, you know, ideal time. You know, the time is just not conducive. But, uh, uh, but, but Mr. Maluleke was saying they, they've been waiting from last year. They didn't do any action last year because they are committed to the country. And, and then there was yes. a commitment by government, you know. So when would it be a right time for them to, to put pressure and threatening a national strike? No, look, uh, 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 you know, then, uh, firstly, uh, public uh, service employees uh, should not even be talking about strike. Uh, you know, because if you look, uh, uh, you know, they've been classified as, a, you, know, a, a, you know, essential uh, services workers, and they, they, they should not uh, engage on a strike. If they engage on a strike, and then that strike will be an uh, unprotected strike. However, having said uh, what I've said, uh, I am also of the view that, uh, you know, the manner in which uh, uh, you know, the DPSA, Department of Service and Public Administration, you know, handles, uh, you know, these negotiations. Uh, for me, I don't think it is, uh, uh, you know, acceptable. And I, I think, especially what we have just mentioned uh, earlier, that uh, the minister has asked, uh, issued a statement appealing to the public, uh, you know, to assist with the views or input. I, I think that is totally not accept acceptable. Because the you know the negotiations are still ongoing at the PSCBC, and I think uh, this is uh, something that can be viewed as uh, you know undermining the uh, you know integrity of those uh, uh, you know uh, in, in negotiations, uh, and, and, and especially that uh, 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 you know if you look at, uh, you know back backward uh, when Mr. Maluleka mentioned the the, the issue of. Uh, last year, uh, you, you will recall that uh, there was an issue around the resolution one of uh, uh, PFCBC resolution one of uh, 2018, uh, where in the government uh, could not, uh, uh, you know, implement the last leg, the third leg of that uh, agreement, uh, uh, which was the salary incre in increment, and they went to the court, and then uh, you know the courts, uh, the uh, labor appeal court. Uh, you know, declared that, uh, you know, last leg of that agreement unconstitutional, uh, you know, unlawful and so forth. And I, 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 um, I, I still believe that even the handling of uh, that particular matter, uh, it was not proper yeah. uh, by, by government, especially yeah. if you say you have challenges. Uh, you need to be open, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, to, to, because... Should we? Yeah, sorry, Mr. Palan. Sorry to why, come in there. Why not the opponents sorry, yeah. or enemies so, of yeah, the yeah. employers? Yeah, that's what he was saying. That uh, he he feels like, uh, as a trade unionist, like government is putting them as enemies of the people. We'll see how this one yes. goes out. But very briefly, as we end, uh, uh, Mr. Palan, uh, should we anticipate a a season, a winter season of strikes in the public sector, uh, unprotected as it, they may uh, the, that action might be? 
Yes, we, 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 the way things uh, are being handled, I think we may anticipate that. But uh, I think I have my, you know, uh, own views of what you know parties uh, may do. You know, at the uh, 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 negotiating table, there, the bargaining uh, chamber. Uh, you know, because uh, we should not overlook uh, the fact that indeed, you know, it is a, now a, a public knowledge that there is. Uh, you know, uh, you know, financial problems. You know, in our government, and there are issues of money that has been wasted and so forth. But I think uh, you know this process should be respected and be handled uh, in a manner and integrity that it deserves. And parties should be honest uh, to each other. And I think what okay. they should do, you know, to avoid uh, you know this issue of uh, anticipated strike. You know, you know maybe. Let them agree, you know, to form a task team that will do a feasibility we'll, okay. study. We'll have and, to see. And, I, I think there's a little bit of impatience by, by the labor unions at the moment after such a long time. But we'll have to see. And the government also not giving in. But negotiations are, are that. We, it's give and take. We'll have to see how it plays out. Thank you very much. Uh, that's a labor law specialist, Mahatepala from uh, Mahatepala and Associates. Still ahead on